this lesson, we will learn how to create this sort of an antenna. And you can see how these antennas are. And you can see that these antenna can be pulled out to make it longer in length or you can push them in to make it smaller. So that effect we have to give it and we have to make it look like it is turned smaller by pushing it inside. So I will create a shape node here. And we will work on the UV that is the antenna UV. So I will just reduce the size of this shape. And I will add transform node to it so I can move it to wherever my antenna UV is. So let me reduce the size of the shape. I can do it from the transform, but it's but it's better to do it with uh, with the shape directly. So we we don't lose the quality. And now I will plug it inside my blend node, and I'm using add blend node. I will use I'm using the blend mode add inside my blend node, and you can see that it's fine. It just need to be the height have to be a little smaller so it won't have that weird effect on the top, that artifact. Later on we can also change the size of it but right now I'm approximately trying to put it there. So I'll make some room here so we can add some more stuff. So Let's do one thing here. Let's add a blur HQ grayscale. So we can blur out to make it softer or curve from the corner. Increase the quality, reduce the intensity, it's too high. And you can see it's getting the shape. So now we need to make it roundish. And as you can see, this doesn't look roundish at all right now. So let's, let's add a level to it. And adjust the height by pushing the white. But let's first fix the shape of it. and then I will use the I will push the white. Now you can see it is becoming more roundish. I have to make it more round. So I will adjust these values here on the top. So it's all about trial and error, like just I want to check where it becomes more roundish. Now it looks a little bit more roundish. So now I can increase the width of it a bit directly from the shape or decrease it. Let's decrease it for now. You can increase or decrease up to you how thick you want. So I'm just here trying to achieve the look I'm looking for. This looks fine. This looks better. Now let's add one more blend node over here. So and turn it on. Uh, turn on the uh, add blending mode. So we can create another effect, which is the nested antenna effect, like antenna inside the antenna inside the antenna. That sort of thing, which I showed you in the beginning. So I will add the tile sampler here now. And what I need to do is adjust the amount. So five Y amount 
and one x amount so we can have only a block like a horizontal block of lines here thick lines now i will go down in the size and let's see let's increase the scale to one but there is no gap so if you decrease it you can see there is a gap but i don't want the gap so i will increase the gap like i don't need the gap so i will make it one so one means no gap now what i will do i will create a gradient effect here okay like gradient linear a node i will add and i will plug it in to the color map the color map input now why i did that if you will go to the color map here the color option here we'll use the color like the parameter here the multiplier and you can see as you can do uh, as you will do this each block that we have those five blocks those five thick lines they are with different like colors okay so the top one is white the bottom is gray then a little dark gray then more darker or more darker so now what i will do here is then i will go back to position and i think this is fine but i will just try to do different kind of settings i don't need offset but i'm just uh trying to check if it works or not like if if it gives me more interesting result or not so but this is fine like this is what i'm looking for but i'm just trying to uh check if something more interesting can be done here so i will add a transform in between the blend and the tile sampler so that i can make it smaller and i will turn off the note i will turn off the tiling so no tiling and i will add it here later on i have to apply uh, subtract to it uh, in the blend node right now there is no blending mode there i'm just trying to put it where i want it and then later on i will change my blend mode to subtract okay uh just do it i have to reset it okay now it's fine okay put the subtract it usually takes uh sometimes you have to wait a little while now i will reduce the opacity of this global opacity and you can see that in the color i will reduce the global opacity and you can see the result is showing up now okay this is how much i will decrease it and you can see this sort of result, like result i was looking for so i just need a good value here this is too high i guess 0 0.03 is fine like that that was too low i guess this is fine so something like this you can change the value the way you want it uh, i like at this value the global opacity now what i need is to create the top more uh like flat form the like top but it will be round from the like side so that kind of effect i'm trying to create so i will put another blend node and then i will add a shape and i will connect to the new blend node that i created so i'll scale it down i would be needing a transform so i will apply the transform but first let's resize it the way i want it and now i will put a transform node, uh, node between and i will put it here but i have to turn off the tiling mode i will go to the tiling mode and no tiling absolute and then no tiling
I will put it to uh, I will put it where I want it. That's where I will put. It's too big. Let me reduce the size of the shape. So I will go to the shape, decrease its x and y amount. And then I will add a blur HQ to make it a little bit roundish. But reduce the, I don't need that intensity here. I'll reduce the intensity, but I will up the quality. Then I will add a levels here and I will adjust the levels. So I want it flat from the top but I want it round from the sides, like from the front, left and right and back. I want it to be round. I want it to be rounded. Let's reduce this uh, white amount. Let's check what other blending mode we have. So I will choose max lighten that verse better better than uh, add so just you have to move around and then you have to it's all about trial and error once you start getting the result, you will stop at that point. I'll just adjust it left and right a bit. Okay, so it's too thick, so I have to reduce the white level, and then I have to adjust these to make it roundish. I'm ignoring the top uh, and the bottom here, because that I will fix later on. I'm just more worried about the size and the front and back. So uh, sides, front and back have to be more roundish. Yeah, something like this. Let's try and see if we can have much more better results. Yes, we are getting there. Okay, so I will add another blend node here. And I will put the level on the foreground instead of background. And I will make sure it is 16 bit because 8 bit will give you those artifacts which I was getting. Now I will crop it. I will use the cropping area and I will crop the bottom and the top. So you can see the bottom is cropping because I want it to be flat from the bottom and I want it to be flat from the top. Later on, if you want, you can add a secondary, like, like a secondary uh, a blur HQ, but you can fix it later on if you want. I'm just trying to put some values here. I can also move it down with the transform. But I think the transform, because it's already uh, the cropping and the blending, so it won't work. Only thing I have to adjust is the bottom blending and the top blending, the crop area. OK. 
Okay, now this looks fine. Let's try the values. No, this is fine. Okay. Later on, we can fix, we can apply some blur amount to it like blur hq on top of it so it, it will get rid of these weird uh artifacts that it's getting on the bottom level also we can adjust the levels back These weird um, artifacts can be removed. Don't worry about that. We will remove it. Now I will crop the top area. Let me try one thing. Let me add a shape here and I will subtract the shape from the top instead of cropping it. Just that I can control easily. And I will add transform to the shape with no tiling. So tiling mode, absolute no tiling. And now I can reduce it. The size of it and I want to put it on the top of it so I can subtract it. I will choose subtract from there but you can see it is showing that previous one what I will do is that I will just make this box smaller so it won't show the one which is underneath okay and now what I will do here is that go to this blend mode and reset this bottom cropping because I will do the same thing from the bottom so I will not have uh, I will have more control so I will not have issues so I will add another blend node here but uh, instead of blend node let's do one thing let's add a mirror here so I will use the mirror X Y uh, axis Y and I will mirror it down and I will change the offset until it comes to that uh, like it moves to that area let's put manual value over here I have to put lower value so I will try to put lower value or higher value yeah higher value okay so 96 doesn't work okay this value works I will reduce it a little bit more now you can see it's working so I have to find a sweet spot where it will fit. Okay. 
Okay. Getting there. You're almost there. No, no, it looks fine. So what I will do here is that I will add here the blur HQ. So we can get rid of those weird artifacts that we were getting before. Up to quality, reduce intensity. Much, much lower. So yes, we are getting there almost. This looks fine, but let's move it to make more space so we can add levels if you want later on. Let's add levels. And let's adjust these values. We can get the sharper ends instead of softer ends, otherwise it will look more organic rather than being or geometrical so it have to be geometrical so I we have to adjust the values it's not too high So I will work with all the values and I will go to the manual values so I can have more control. That looks fine for now. Let's see where else we can adjust. Okay, this looks good. Let's see if it is too thick or not. If it is too thick, we can reduce more its uh, depth by reducing the level a uh, level out high, which is the white amount. Okay, we have this issue here, which we can remove it. By increasing the white amount. Yeah, that looks better. So uh, I hope you have learned uh, from this lesson that how to create uh, this antenna. Thanks a lot everyone for joining this, this lesson. I'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and becoming a member of my uh, premium uh, tutorial plan. And I hope to receive your con support continuously. I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents i will be uploading soon 
If you have liked my video, so please hit the like button. And if you have any queries or questions, then leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. And one request I have, and that is I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them. So please, if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing this, then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hardware paid off and it will demotivate me. So I don't want to stop making tutorials for you all. Therefore, help me to get new subscribers and ask your friends who are interested to join my membership plans. I will take off now and take care guys till we meet in the next class. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on C Interactive, your own training institute. So now I'm just adding uh, some like uh, opacity mask here. So in, uh, in case if we need a opacity mask in future, so I will create this opacity mask here by just adding a level. And later on, we can use this opacity map, map mask whenever we want. It's always good to keep opacity maps created. Now let's add a frame here. And I will call this antenna. So guys, uh, thanks a lot once again, and we'll meet in the next class. Till then, take care.